at Spirit Mountain in Duluth, Minnesota for the Black Magic Duluth Nationals. The opener for the WSA. Justin Tate is back. He's looking strong this season. Pro Stock Final. Crowd is up for it. We're up for it. First final of the year. Twelve laps they are going to unleash here. And of course, uh, this snow, I talked about it in our course description. It's tough. It's thick. It's tough to drive through. Conditioning could be a factor, Paul. Flag falls. Here we go. Everybody tight in for the start. Ah, oh, look at that battle already at the front. Tucker down on the inside. That's Tate on the outside to the big jump. Oh, look at them. They go huge. They went huge over that jump. That's Morgan behind them, but those two guys serve notice. They are going to be tough. Oh, Tate jumps into the lead. Here comes Morgan. Morgan in third on the yellow skidoo. Nice start as well by Mike Island sits in fourth, and Kohansky's in fifth. But, oh, Morgan trying to move on Tucker. Tucker and Morgan back at it again, but this time they battle for second place. It's Tate that has the lead. Morgan looks to the inside line. Welcome back. Pro Stock final continues. Tate still out in front, being coached every lap. Blair Morgan still working hard, trying now to catch up to Tate. And Tucker Hibbert sitting back just a little. Yeah, that loss of momentum really hurt Tucker. Look at Morgan air it out, though, as he's going after Tate. What, what Shearing was telling him was, Morgan is this close. He's closing in. So there's, there's Hibbert. As you can see, he's dropped well off in this one. Then Trevor John now fourth and Kohansky in fifth. But they're a ways back. But Justin this year decided to make a huge commitment to the sport, really take it seriously, went into a major training regimen, has been riding motocross like crazy, and he had a badly broken nose that was difficult to breathe through that was costing him at the end of races. He had that surgically fixed. He's in the best shape he's ever been in. I've never seen him this focused, and he's showing it. He's riding incredibly well. But Morgan! Oh, look at Morgan as he tries on the inside of Tate. Tate continues to control. No problem. I'll just go around on this side. Got everybody's attention standing by the edge, though. Back with Tate at the front. One thing that has unquestionably helped Tate here is he's got through traffic clean. Morgan has tripped over a couple of guys out there, and that's hurt him. And it happened right when Tate was feeling huge pressure for Morgan. Morgan ran into the problem, and that gave Tate some room. Back to the front. There's Tate in traffic. See how smoothly he got by the one sled now. They're showing blue flags to these riders as we start the final lap. And there's Streg. Now you notice he looked back. He's going to move out of the way. That's exactly what Morgan does not want to have happen. Oh, oh, big moment there. Quick look back. Again, they tell Tate, get going. That's Morgan right there. And that almost off happened right in front of Tate, one of the lap sleds. And that's going to can mess up your focus just a little bit. But he hangs on. And Justin Tate has taken the first final of the season. Is this a prediction of what this season holds in store? Shearing is more than happy with that one. Yeah. The changing of the guard, perhaps, take his first win as a pro in a World Snowmobile Association Snowcross Worldwide Championship event. What a great run. Justin Tate, as he should, celebrates his first victory. Steve comes right in there. Blair Morgan just a few feet off. Justin knows that he's held off the best. In fact, had a few challenges in the run as well and held those off. So this is a mighty important checkered flag. Well, it really can set the tone for the rest of the season. If you come out early and you can put a win in the column, especially over guys like Morgan and Hibbert, the confidence is amazing. Let's go back and take a look at a couple of these moments here. Right off the start, watch what happens. Tate got a decent start. He's right there. That's the black sled right on the shoulder with Hibbert. Look at that move there. A couple of guys getting airborne. That's Brad Pitlick. Goes wide, clears everybody out behind him. So Morgan is able to tuck in. Right here, though, this is where it looked like these two guys were going to set the stage. Tate comes up to this finish line jump, Paul, and Hibbert goes with him. They both go monster big, and that was really serving notice to everybody behind. It isn't going to be easy, but look at this. That was Morgan, his one shot at almost making the pass. But not to be intimidated at all was Justin Tate. Steve Shearing and his moment of celebration knowing that his guy has taken his first pro victory. 
I'll bet this is going to be a great winner's interview. Justin Tate, last year, obviously, the Articats of Morgan and Hibbert won every final. This season couldn't have started more differently and better for you. How important is it to get that first win right off the top? It's so important. I've been trying for this for, man, years. And finally paid off. I mean, a lot of work and uh, lots of time. I mean, something had to change, you know. There's just too much green out front. It's about time. I'm glad it was me. Off-season training, you talked about it. You worked so hard. You stayed pretty healthy. And it came to, uh, it came to bear here, didn't it? Yeah. I past couple years, I really started training. Took a lot more serious. And uh, past couple months, I worked my butt off. And uh, as you can see, it makes a huge difference, man. Just being focused and being in shape. Looked like Blair got hooked up in some traffic a couple of times. You got through it so clean. That, that played a big role, didn't it? Yeah, I saw the traffic coming. And I planned to lap ahead like where I was going to go if I came to it. And I came to that, and I had a line picked out, and it worked great, and I just kept on motoring. And a killer hole shot didn't hurt. Oh, that start was great. Good ones definitely did their jobs there. Congratulations, Justin. Enjoy this one. Thank you. I'll see you in the open class. Good ones doing the motor on that sled. Justin Tate takes first, followed by Morton and Hibbert. And did you hear the crowd in the background? They were loving every minute about it. Yeah, but how comfortable will the year be for Blair Morgan and the rest with guys like Justin Tate coming on and coming on strong? Congratulations, Justin, your first pro win. I don't imagine there's anything that feels quite as good, except you can look forward to the championship. Pro stock points, only one point separates first and second, and then it's only two back to third. A very close fight already.